now that we have explored um, definitions and process let's move on to looking at conclusion validity the very important concept in research design so conclusion validity it means that what extent is your conclusion accurate essentially we are trying to say how accurate are your conclusion drawn how accurate are the conclusion drawn from your study and there are different ways there are two different ways by which you can look at the degree you can check the degree you should be your conclusion should have internal validity okay and external validity there are two aspects to it but the problem is always that you cannot have both at the same time there will be some that has high internal validity low level of external validity but first of all let's explore what we mean by internal validity and external validity internal validity means the correctness of the conclusion regarding the relationship among variables so if you say a is statistically significantly related to b it means if we have high level of internal internal validity the implication there is that that relationship is actually correct so when we draw conclusion about a being associated with b if we have high internal validity it means that that relationship is actually correct so when you have work that actually you draw conclusion that shows the real relationship among the variables you studied for example if you say there is a a relationship based on what you have uh, presented there is a relationship between smoking and high uh, intelligent quotient that is very odd because basically you are saying that what goes in your lungs is related to what goes into your head that is something that is really difficult to swallow the logic behind it is not sound but I, this is just an example but remember when you say two relate uh, two variables are related or associated or they are different from one another the logic behind it must be sound so if the logic is sound and the, rep the representation of the relationship is actually correct then we say you have internal validity external validity has to do with the ability of your work to be general to be used to generalize across the population from which you have drawn the sample so if you made a conclusion that the average height of social so group of people in Obiapo local government or social so local government in river state is social so, so valley if your work as high level of external validity it means that what you have drawn the conclusion you have drawn out of the work can actually be generalized for the entire population so internal validity means the relationship that you have presented among the variables examined are correct external validity means the conclusion you have drawn for the sample is actually generalizable for the entire 
population from which you have drawn the sample. So, depending on the kind of methodology or the kind of research design you have adopted, the internal validity will vary. So, if you let's look at the illustration below, we'll get into more details of looking at the correlational studies, the quasi experimental design, or the experimental design. For the experimental design, we have high internal validity or low external validity because in experiment you are setting up everything in a controlled environment it is not how there in the natural environment how everything can interfere other things can interfere and things like that so it has high internal validity which means you are going to be able to capture the real very uh, relationship among variable so if you say the really there is a social relationship between the amount of fertilizer applied to the maize crop and the yield you can actually be very sure that this is what led to this level of yield and when you say oh this proportion of increase in fertilizer application or supplement application or whatever you want to call it leads to so 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 then you can be very sure because you have control for controlled for all the other condition so you know that the observed relationship is actually or association or differences is actually due to what you have changed within the environment so but then when we move to the correlational studies or design you have higher external validity or lower internal validity you may you are not likely to be able to control for everything so you might be able to generalize from the samples you have drawn but you might not be able to capture actually the real relationship among the variables that is the trade-off you have to depending on the research design adopted you are going to have more of one type of validity and less of the other but the quasi experimental design kind of is the middle way where you have um, more or less a medium level of internal validity and a medium level of external validity. We'll get more into that as we proceed. Now, in order for you to achieve good level of internal validity and external validity to achieve good conclusion validity, you must control for three types of variances. The first one is the systematic variance. The variance of the independent variable and the dependent variable. You must control for the variability of potential nuisance, extraneous or confounding variables. You must also control for variance attributable to error in measurement so these are the types of variances you must control for the systematic one the confounding variance and the error variance they are inherent in what we do whenever we do research but you must take into cognizance these variances so that you plan for how you are going to address them within your work so we're going to get into how we're going to do this in the next episode. Moving on from there, how do we make sure we control for these variants? We'll get into more details, but let me just give you a bit of this before we move on, before we get to the next uh, presentation. We use the max mean con principle you maximize the systemic variance you minimize the error variance 
and you control for the confounding variance. Maximize the systemic variance, minimize the error variance, and control for the confounding variance. This is the principle you must apply when you are doing your research. More details will come but have this at the back of your mind. You maximize systematic variance, you minimize the error variance, and you control for the confounding variance.